Good morning. It's October 13th, and welcome to Doing Life, daily devotions for finding peace in stressful times. This is the audible companion of the book by the same name. And today's title is Stay Different. And my voice today is brought to you by Flu Type A, which I got over recently. And do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12, 2, NIV. There's an expression here in Texas that everyone in the state is familiar with. Keep Austin weird. Now Austin is the state capital of Texas, and so it's where most of the politicians live, or at least hang out a lot. It is also the home of, and the central campus for, the University of Texas. You might think that 50,000 college students and a bunch of politicians might be enough to make a city weird, but I don't think that's really what the expression means. Red Wisenich died right before the pandemic of 2020-2021. He was the librarian of the Austin Community College for more than 30 years and wrote many best-selling guidebooks to the Austin area. It was during his call on a local radio show Pledge Drive in 2000, where he coined the expression, Keep Austin Weird. It was subsequently adopted as the official slogan of the Austin Independent Business Alliance, and has been mimicked by many cities, including Portland, Louisville, and Indianapolis, just to name a few. What did he mean exactly? Austin has a personality all its own, evolving from its small-town feel but terrible traffic, its six street bars, dives, live music, and outdoor cafes, as well as its symphony, its wealthy lakeside communities, and even its tiny house neighborhoods. Austin is a city that wants to be a small town and a metropolis at the same time, that offers tax breaks to Toyota and Amazon, and yet fights to keep big business out with zoning. It's a great place to raise kids, but also to retire. It's home to Bible churches and LGBTQ communities, country music artists and classical symphonies, to rap and hip-hop, the seat of state law enforcement, and a welcoming town for protests. Austinians are fiercely proud and protective of their city, even with all its paradoxes. Christians have something in common with those from Austin. They were decidedly weird in the first century. They preached the teachings of Jesus Christ, a poor carpenter executed for blasphemy at only age 33. He espoused love for your enemies rather than hatred, Matthew 5.43. They preached to turn the other cheek when assaulted rather than fighting back and extracting an eye for an eye, Matthew 5.38. They taught that followers of Christ would be viewed as righteous in God's eyes, even though they sinned, and be granted eternal life after death, John 3.16. They proclaimed to a desert people that anyone who drinks well water will soon be thirsty again, but those who drink the water Christ gives them will never thirst but have eternal life. John 4.14 4, They preached that those who follow Christ are not of this world, but belong to the kingdom of heaven, and only sojourn on earth. John 18.36 They told people they were truly free, even as a Jew, occupied by Rome, because they had died with Christ on the cross, who had forgiven their sins, and were then reborn free from all guilt and shame. They were now righteous before God, not from following the law of Moses, but from following the Son of God. Galatians 2, 15-21 Now, all of that was really weird in the first century. What's even more weird, or weirder, is that nothing has changed by the 21st century. The Christian who lives his life empowered by the indwelling Holy Spirit, whose goal is to serve rather than be served, to love rather than be loved, to lift others up rather than themselves, and to work in everything to the glory of God, is definitively viewed as weird by an increasingly secular world. So if the company you keep ever makes you feel weird because of your faith, congratulations, you're on the road to becoming more Christ-like. Keep it up. Keep yourself weird, just like Austin. Stay different. Father, we know your son Jesus was decidedly different, different to the point that he was ridiculed and despised by his own people. So when we feel awkward because our faith doesn't seem to match the attitudes of those around us, give us the strength to stay weird and not conform to the pattern of the world. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.